Look at that, it goes like four feet out of the water. I'm hooked into a predator in Africa's Okavango Delta. The line's sounding like it's in pain, slicing the water. Could it be the Nguesh? Long and silvery horizontal stripes. The pack hunting killer fish I've been searching for. I think this might actually be the Nguesh. From everything I've heard, it definitely fits the description. It's an extreme lightened fish, silvery color, horizontal black stripes, and unmistakable large, sharp interlocking teeth. And, well, I actually recognize this as a tiger fish. This definitely looks like it's been doing a bit of hunting. That body, although elongated, is quite, you know, it's very full. It's been feeding. And then those teeth, I mean, that is, yeah, that is the tooth the witch doctor showed me. I, mean, I think we've got a positive ID now on this fish for sure. So I've matched the teeth from the witch doctor and identified the Nguesh. But is it really a fish that attacks in frenzied packs like the piranha? I've caught a tigerfish before, the Goliath tigerfish of the Congo. There we go. That fish has the size to be a killer. What a fresh water monster this thing is. But it works alone. The one I'm after hunts in packs and can potentially bring down several large targets at once. The type of tigerfish I just caught is a relative of the piranha, but it can grow to over three feet long and its average weight is more than 10 times that of a red-bellied piranha. So imagine hordes of these tearing at your flesh. A voracious pack of teeth that, if my hunch is right, could easily have disposed of the ferry victims. When the bodies were recovered, they were found to be partially eaten. It's clamping down, it's clamping down.